All right, Shalom. This is GMS Wisconsin, and this is a breakdown for dummies. What I'm about to go into is how Esau cannot make it into, into the kingdom to be heirs with Jacob, which is the 12 tribes of Israel. And Esau is the white man out of day. It says, uh, Genesis chapter 25, verse 27. Genesis means the beginning. And the boys grew, and Esau was a cunning hunter, a man of the field, and Jacob was a plain man, dwelling in tents. And Isaac loved Esau, because he did eat of his venison. But Rebekah loved Jacob, and Jacob saw a pottage, and Esau came from the field, and he was faint. And Esau said to Jacob, Feed me, I pray thee, with that same red pottage, which was uh, a pot of meat, basically. For I am faint, therefore was his name called Edom. Edom meaning Adawam in Hebrew, which is red man. And Jacob said, Sell me this day thy birthright, which was his ticket to the kingdom of heaven to be an heir. And Esau said, Behold, I am at the point to die, and what profit shall this birthright do to me? And Jacob said, Swear to me this day, and he swore unto him. And he sold his birthright unto Jacob. Then Jacob gave Esau bread and pottage and of lentils, and he did eat and drink. Right, so Esau sold his birthright, which was him being able to go to the kingdom, for bread, clothing, and drink. And rose up and went his way. Thus Esau despised his birthright. Right, so this has been ordained since the beginning of the time that the white man has sold his kingdom unto Jacob. That's why Jacob is going to be the heir and the kingdom. This is Genesis chapter 25, verse my slack here, 27, verse 29. And Isaac his father answered and said unto him, Behold, thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth. And this is talking about Esau, which is the white man today. His blessing was for him to basically rule on earth and of the dew of heaven from above, and by thy sword shalt thou live. Right. This white man actually ruled the kingdoms by his military might, basically, is what they're saying. And this is his blessing since the beginning of the time. So this world is his kingdom, and he rules it with his military. Now I'm going to go to Hebrews chapter 12, verse 16. This is Hebrews chapter 12, verse 16. Lest there be any fornicator or profane person as Esau, right? Profane derives from the Latin term profanum, which means to go forth outside of the temple. The Lord only deal with the Israelites, which he proclaims them as being his temple. So Esau is not a part of that heir or that um, um, the people that the Lord deal with, basically. It says, or profane person as Esau, who for one morsel of meat sold his birthright, which was the kingdom of heaven. For ye know how that afterward, when he would have inherited the blessing, he was rejected. Right, so Esau, which is the white man, was rejected since the beginning of time from Yahweh Bahashim Yahushah. For he found no place of repentance though he sought it carefully with tears. Right, so this white man cannot go to the kingdom and be no heir, be no king in the kingdom of heaven. Because it's been ordained since the beginning of the time. Said Yahweh and Yahweh shot. Now let's go to Romans chapter 9, verse 13 to further prove the point. Because, you know, Jake don't get it. That's why the Lord made precepts for him. This is Romans chapter 9, verse 13. As it is written, Jacob have I loved. But Esau have I hated. Right, so Jacob represents the 12 tribes of Israel. The blacks, Latins, and the North American Indians. Or any Indian tribe like that. But Esau, which is the white man, have I hated. Right, so the Lord hates you white people. That's why y'all can't go to the kingdom with us. To be no king. Okay, okay, let's go to... Matthew chapter 12. This is really, really simple, man. These scriptures are simple. 
but it's only for the elect to get it. So this is Malachi chapter 1, verse 2. I have loved you, saith the Lord. Yet ye say, Wherein hast thou loved us? Was not Esau Jacob's brother? You see how it's going back to Esau and Jacob? Saith the Lord, Yet I love Jacob, and I hated Esau, which is the white man, and laid his mountains and his heritage waste for the dragons of the wilderness. Right, so the Lord basically tore down these white people kingdom. Whereas Edom saith, we are impoverished. And at the time they was impoverished, that's when they was in a, uh, a cave mentality. Cave mentality, the caveman. But we will return and build the desolate places. Right, starting with um, the Greek empire, this white man built back up his kingdom on earth. Which was the Greek empire, the Roman empire, and now America. Thus said the Lord of hosts, they shall build, but I will throw down, and they shall call them the border of wickedness. Right. So if the Lord really loved these people and they can go to heaven with them, why is he throwing down everything they try to establish? It says, they shall build, but I will throw down, and they shall call them the border of wickedness. Right. This white man is the border of wickedness. Everywhere this white man go to set up shop, he is known as being wicked because to get that place where he set up shop that he had to rape, rob, and murder. And then he try to bring in his legislations and so on and so forth. So this, therefore, since he calling all these shots in this kingdom, this is his kingdom. And this is last go round. The people against whom the Lord hath indignation. Indignation means anger, righteous anger, forever. So this white man cannot be saved. He cannot be in the kingdom as an heir to the throne with Jacob. Because the Lord said, the people against whom the Lord hath indignation forever. So the Lord is not going to never accept these white people. That's what the scriptures say. I'm just a messenger. Now let's go to Malachi chapter 3, verse 6. It says, for I am the Lord, I change not. Right, so therefore, the white man cannot be accepted into the fold. The Gentiles were the Israelite foreigners, right? It says, for I am the Lord, I change not. So the Lord basically, since the beginning of the time, said he took away Esau's blessing and gave it to Jacob. He have hated Esau forever. Therefore, the white man has no chance of repentance. Therefore, the Lord is not dealing with you white people. So y'all not going to the kingdom of heaven. It says, verse 6, For I am the Lord, I change not. Therefore, ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. Right. Only the elect is going to the kingdom of heaven to be heirs on the throne. And we're going to birth back the rest of the children of Israel. You white people, y'all going into slavery in the kingdom of heaven. Because this is y'all kingdom, according to the scriptures. So, Rakatai Yahweh, Rakatai Yahweh Shai, Shalom. Thank you.